Hello there everyone, welcome back to another video. Today guys, we are back here inside of the how to make a race clicker type game. Last video, guys, we made the like the, the wind gates over here, guys, which spawn in as you can see. We got all those. In today's video, we are gonna be making like the round system. So round one. Um well not not like well like race into motion and like click time so if you guys get what i mean we're gonna be making that in today's video without further ado let's go and get into it but before i start any of that i first need to go in and tell you guys a little bit about rblxcodes.com which is my own roblox code website where you can find out game codes music codes and guides there's tons of stuff in there that you guys have to check out overall we have a codes for over 1000 roblox games so if you guys need a code for a game it will be there and if you guys are guests let's just go ahead and go on into this video now so guys first things first what we are going to do inside of our replicate storage thing we're just going to create a folder and we're going to call this values over here right now guys after that inside of this insert a bool value after that guys we are going to call this value um in race just over here then we're also going to make another boolean value we're just going to duplicate that control d and i'm going to name this one can click after that, guys, we want to add a new value in this, and this time it's going to be a string value. And we're going to call this value status, just to be here right now, guys. Okay, now that we've got these three values, what we are going to do next is pretty much this, guys. So we want to create, instead of service script service, a new script. And we're going to call this script um, generate rounds. Um, just to be here guys so what we are going to do inside this script is first of all find the replicated storage so we're going to do local replicated storage is equal to game get service replicated storage after that guys we are going to do local values and that's going to be equal to replicated storage wait for child values um just to be here next we are going to do local um status and that's going to be equal to values wait for child status after that we're going to do local um in race so we're gonna now get the in race value by doing pretty much the same thing values wait for child and then in race and then finally guys we can also well we also want to get the can click value so local can click and we're going to be equaling that to values wait for child can click next guys we are just going to simply get the players too so we're going to do local players um and that's going to be equal to game get service players just to be here guys if i am going too fast at any point feel free to pause it guys anyway what we're going to do here is actually define three variables that's going to be the race length how long the intermission lasts and how long the players can click for to do this guys we will do this we're going to do local race length and that is going to be equal to um well however long the race actually lasts in the game i think it's like two minutes but so you got you guys will put 120 as it's going to be in seconds over here guys so um Put them out of seconds that you guys want the race to last. I'm going to put it at 5 right, right now so we can actually see it changing and stuff um, later on when we could test it. And then, of course, I'm going to revert that back to normal later on. Anyway, guys, we're going to do local intermission um, length. And that's going to be equal to another 5. Um, I'd maybe rec recommend putting this to like 10 to 20 for your real game, guys. And then we have local click length. And that's going to be equal to 5 too, because of course we just want these to go through quickly um, and not actually be the real values on how long you guys want these to last. But put these values at however long you guys want each section to last, guys. I recommend intermission maybe about 10 to 30 seconds. Click length, I'd probably recommend about 15 seconds and race length, maybe one minute and a half to two minutes. That's what I recommend, guys. You can put that however you want, though. Anyway, we are going to do function, then we're going to do format. And we're going to put inside here the int. So pretty much, guys, what this function's all about is actually changing, um, like the um, changing like the seconds into minutes. If you guys get what I mean. So what we're going to do is do return string dot format. Then we are going to do um these speech blocks. We're going to do percent um percent then zero to i just over here, guys. And then we're going to do comma int just over here guys so pretty much we are formatting this string into um we're, we're, we're for formatting the int into a string because the int is a number we're formatting this into a string while we're doing that guys we are turning it into like a minutes and stuff which is quite nice guys if you don't get what any of this is actually doing well guys i do have a beginner 2 pro script and tutorial series where i explain how i'm kind of making all this stuff in any map tutorials as well as that guys if you ever need one-to-one -one help from me you guys can receive that from my patreon page and you can also download these exact uh, studio files next up we're gonna do local function round 
timer just over here guys this is what we're gonna do to go through the different mounts what we need to do is do this so while wait then we're gonna do do we are now gonna do our first one so we're gonna do 4i is equal to um intermission length we are gonna do comma zero and then comma minus one do so pretty much what we are doing right now guys we are counting down from the intermission length to zero so essentially guys um what this bit imagine this is five so of course the intermission length is five so it's saying um for five two zero minus one each time if you guys kind of get what it means this minus one means each time it passes through this it is going to take off one of the intermission length until it reaches zero that's kind of what it's doing here but what we are going to do right now is this we're going to do in race um in race dot value is equal to false we're gonna now wait one second um and then we can but to be fair guys we can just do status dot value is equal to intermission and then we're gonna do dot dot and then i so i is pretty much um i is pretty much the like the intermission length over here um well, sorry guys, the, the, like the seconds left. So yeah, we're going to do that and we're going to put the weight one. So guys, we kind of need to just repeat this again, but um, for, for the other three. So this time, instead of intermission length, we're going to do click length because what the pattern is going is gonna to be, we're going to go from the intermission, then to the click stage, and then we're going to go into the race. Intermission, click, race, intermission, click, race. So in that in that order. Then guys, so, so that's why I put that in that order here. Then guys, what we can do is actually, instead of putting the in race dot value to false we are now going to do can click dot value i'm actually going to put this to true over here because in this clicking time the players can now click we're going to be coding this later on where it's going to allow us to um to click in a future video guys because so i think it'll be a bit too much in all one anyway guys instead of an intermission we're going to do click time and something like this over here guys um and that's just going to show the seconds left and then guys we want to do our final one this one is going to be for i is equal to race length inside this guys we're going to do in race we're going to set this to true whilst also setting can click dot value we also want to set this to false because of course they can't no longer click so we want to put this to false over here guys next we want to do this so we are going to do local minutes um and that's going to be equal to brackets i minus um i then we're going to do percent 60 um then divided by 60 essentially guys what we are doing we are like finding out the amount of minutes um that this time equates to in this bit so we're going to do i is equal to i minus minutes um minutes and then we're going to do times that by 60 next guys we're going to do status dot value then we are going to do equal this to format um and we're going to put the minutes in here then we are going to do dot dot and then pull on and then we're going to do dot dot format and then i so essentially guys what we are doing here we are looking to see if um if there is like any minutes if there is guys then it's gonna for example be like one here and then colon i so as amount of seconds in a minute if you guys kind of get what i mean and it's can and you're just gonna want to delete that one out of there okay guys so now we kind of have this sorted out so in this bit we have the we have the actual um countdown working we have the round system working but how do we actually tell the player and show the player what round they are in mom well, guys we're gonna do this by making a gui so instead of start a gui we're gonna make a screen gui and i'm gonna insert a text label into here and what i'm gonna do use my unit conversion plugin i'm just gonna convert these to both skill you guys can do this manually in the position and size one over here but essentially guys what i'm gonna do is place it place this in the middle of the screen just size this out how i kind of like um here we go over here guys i'm just gonna put it for example to there what i'm gonna do is just um change the font to one that i quite like over here guys i'm now gonna do text scaled then i'm gonna go ahead and bump down the background transparency i personally like a white color on this with a black outline to do this guys i want to show you so we're gonna do label then guys what we kind of do right now is inside this add a ui stroke 
then guys if um, we can just increase this thickness a little bit over here guys so now we have this label at the top of the screen over here very very nice so what we're going to do inside this is add a local script and what we need to do here is this we're going to do local replicated storage and that's going to be equal to game get service replicated storage next we are going to do local values is equal to um, replicate storage with the child values kind of like what we were doing before then we're going to do local status um, and that's going to be equal to values wait for child status because in this one we were like we, we were changing the status value to kind of show what month we, they were in and how much time they had left then guys we want to do this we're going to do local um bubbles in this text is equal to script dot parent after that guys we're going to do um status dot changed connect function so whenever the status value changes maybe it minus is a second off or it changes like intermission to, to click time we're going to do this we're going to do display i'm um, sorry not not not, not display we're going to do text dot text and um, maybe we should have named this a bit better anyway guys text dot text is that that's going to be equal to status dot value just over here guys um so yeah we have that right now and hopefully now that we join the game um, also guys i'd probably recommend just not even putting any text in here so just delete the label one because that might show up occasionally um when there was nothing to actually show maybe at the start of the game but it is hopefully gonna change on our screen never mind guys it is not changing this is brilliant okay do we have any um do we have any any error messages don't think we do guys right okay, let, let's let's see what's going on over here um right okay so um one second guys let me quickly check what i'm doing wrong never mind guys i've just remembered what i'm doing wrong over here we actually need to do spawn and then round time and so that pretty much starts off this function over here and um, I, I forgot to add that so guys now that we've done this it hopefully should work um okay here we go intermission three two one now it's gonna go um click time five four three two one then um it's gonna do that, that's like the race one five four three two one and now it's going to go back to intermission and um, in a second five as you can see over here so that's just going to continuously loop and again guys if you just ch change these values in here then it's just going to change all those values there so maybe if you put the race them to 120 intermission length to 10 click length to 15 something like this guys it is going to change with that too guys and um, so yeah, that's pretty much how you guys make like the round system which is quite nice and that's going to be an end to this video here if you guys were also um wondering why i was saying eight over there it's just because as soon as it starts um that service script is going off even though i've not properly loaded in yet but don't worry about that but yeah guys that's pretty much going to be it for this video right now again if you guys need any help you guys can find that all on my patreon but yeah guys i hope you all did enjoy this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe to show some support and peace out